So what I thought I would do is now this is a good thing to do because in our in if you're in Tidy Tutor University and you're part of my Tidy Tutor Insiders, we meet every other week to just well we meet actually once a week every Tuesday we meet and on the Tuesdays what I recommend is to like if you have any work to get done do it because all you're kind of doing is listening so on um, on the first Tuesday of the, of the month say we have a coffee talk I call it and that's where it's kind of like a topic you know it's a topic of don't shut the door okay because it'll make too much noise in the, to the topic that um, unless you have to start it again. Sorry, I didn't know Daniel was in here. That's why I wanted to go in the porch so that nobody was around and stuff. And then that whole light thing happened. So that, what are you going to do? Um, so then the first week we meet and I have a topic that I talk about. Usually it's something that's inside of our Facebook group. Some, somebody has questions about something like that. And it all has to do with organizing or whatever. And then another week we meet... And we call it like working together, where we just get stuff done. Like we'll, it's sort of like, sort of like a, um, like a, uh, like a virtual workspace. You know, where you have your zone to do. You have your um, zone is like where you clean the house in certain sections. So you have your zone to do, or you have to declutter something, or you know something like that. So. Um, and so what we do is we pick an intention, right? We choose an intention. What am I going to work on for this amount of time? So what I'm going to suggest to you guys right now is to pick an intention and actually use this time to get something done. So if you're still working on your clutter magnet area or another clutter magnet area, then go ahead. But if you got to fold laundry, if you got to wash the floor, if you have to wash the clean out the refrigerator if you whatever it is that you've got to do that needs to be done right now then just listen and get the work done at the same time it's a very cool thing okay i think that's cool so i'm going to look right now at the um um zoom just to say hello so um allison pat and ruth hello hello and so everybody heard what i said so just like get get something done while we're together right now and it'll be like a uh, win, win, win. So, and what the great thing to do too is to set an intention. Like, and the, by that, what I mean is make a decision on what exactly will you be working on? Because you could, you know, be involved and say, okay, I'm going to have one hour to do this or 15 minutes to do this. Then you'll get to get to it. But if you don't have an intention, it's really easy for that time to just beep be gone and you're like oh no I didn't do anything so set an intention and if you want to put in the chat for for the first 15 minutes or whatever I'm going to blah 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 and put it in there because this way you have accountability and it's just so much more fun when you actually um, you know have somebody to work with you don't feel like you're alone and you feel like you have a checklist right check doing this check okay all right so I thought what I would do is I would listen, I would listen to, you know what, I just looked at what Trish wrote and she said, I love listening while working. My internet keeps going in and out. Oh, that's too bad. All right, so what I thought I would do today, right now, because we're going to meet again at 4 and then at 7, I think I put out there. I have to take, take a look, but you'll see the schedule. I sent it in an email. I have it as an image on this, on the Facebook page, okay? Everybody that's in the um in zo in the zoom room you definitely got the email because you w couldn't have gotten this link unless you did um all right so we got some people popping in what they're doing i love it all right so george is folding laundry yeah put it in there okay so i thought i would share what my like the the, the moment when i knew i had to do something the mo my my wor the worst nightmare of being a slob the thing that, the thing that kind of was, you know, smacked me in the face and said, I cannot continue to live this way. I have to do something about this. So here's my story. Ready? Um, I had two, two little children at the time. No, three. Three little kids at the time. 
an infant, that was Mikey, and then a two-year-old, that was um, Georgie, and a four-year-old, that was Katie, right? And I went to church at that time, and I didn't have a car right then. And I didn't live far from where the pastor was, so it happened to be my brother-in-law. So he said, I'll pick you up, Kat, um, you know, when we'll, and I'll take you. And I said, that's great, thank you. So now it wasn't until later on to, in the evening, right? And so I um, went to the park with the kids. We took a walk with the stroller. You know, we went to the park. We did whatever we did. We came home, and the house was completely wrecked from the dog. The dog had chewed apart the garbage. Now, you have to remember, I was a slob at this time. So it was, it was pretty bad to begin with, you know. I mean, at this time, I didn't have that much stuff. So it would only get like in disarray. It didn't get, it, sometimes it got pretty embarrassing, but there was ebbs and flows of it. And I'm sure you know what I mean. So at this time there was laundry piled up here and there. There was, there were toys strewn around. The beds weren't made. There, I still had the breakfast dishes on the table. Might've been lunch, I don't remember, but one of those things, there was dishes on the table. So there was that kind of thing, right, going on, which was, you know, not so great to begin with. It wasn't like I was going to be welcoming anybody in that day anyway. But now, put on top of that, what the dog did. The dog, I usually would take the garbage and put it in the bathroom when I left, and I forgot to. And she got in the garbage, and it was all over the house. Dirty diapers, um, meat packages, you know, the little styrofoam thing from the meat coffee grounds, papers, tissues, garbage. It was it was all over too. We had a little apartment, so it wasn't that hard for it to be all over. It was one of those railroad apartments kind of. It had a living room, a, I guess what should have been a dining room, like one room, another room, and the kitchen, and then two really small bedrooms on the side, right? So that whole area, living room, kitchen, whatever that was, dining room, I used it as a, we had it as a playroom. I didn't have it as a dining room because the kitchen was big enough to eat in. So we used it like as a playroom. So it was living room, playroom, dining, I mean kitchen. And from the kitchen all the way to the living room was garbage on top of toys, stuff that I left out, things that were a mess, right? So what was I going to do? I got home from the park and we had to get ready. We were getting picked up soon. So I stepped over everything. I didn't have time, I thought. I didn't have time to pick up any of this. He was coming soon. So I got the kids ready. I got me ready, just in time for him to get there. I stepped over all the crap and I went out and I left, right? Now, now as an organizationally gifted person, because listen, you might say, well, no, I'm once a slob, always, always a slob. Well, if it's once a smoker, always a smoker, no. If you say, I used to smoke, I, I, you know, when I was 22, I smoked, I quit smoking at 22, do you still say I'm a smoker? No, because you're not anymore. So once you get it together, yeah, I'm not, now I still, have, I still have the personality of what brought with all of that into it, which is that right brain thing. If it isn't fun, I don't want to do it. Like there's still the personality, but still. I have it together. There's not shit all over the place anymore. I don't have too much stuff. It's easy to let go of things. There's habits in place. Dishes are done. Laundry is done. I, I have the Count Mississippi's thing. So it's a whole different reality, okay? But now, now, if I was, um, if that was to happen to me now, well, then I would do one of two things. I would either call him and say, Nick, do me a favor. You got to wait about maybe five or 10 minutes, possibly. So you're going to have to wait a couple of minutes outside. The dog just did something in the house and I got to clean it all up before I go. So I hope that's all right with you. And of course he would say fine, you know, because he wasn't coming like, like that, nah. like, you know, at the time that as soon as we get home, the meeting's starting, you know, no, he was the pastor. He had to be prepared. He was going to be early anyway. So it would have been fine. Or... Let's say it was a little bit too late for me to make that phone call. I would have just ran out and said, Nick, give me a couple of minutes. I just got to pick up something in the house. The thing is, is we have a war perception of time and we think everything takes way longer than it does. 
And so I would think, I never have time to take care of this. I got to get the kids ready. I got to get me ready. And granted, it does take quite a while to get three little kids ready without, you know, pulling your hair out while you're getting ready to go somewhere, right? It does. It, it's, it's a juggling act as it is, right? But still, there is time. There would have been time for me to do I wouldn't have had to do it perfect either. I wouldn't have had to vacuum or sweep. But getting all the stuff up, and in, now that's what every organizationally gifted person would do. They would never just step over it and go out anyway. They wouldn't. And another thing, too, is that they would know it's, it's not going to take as long as I think it does. Whereas I really thought it would take way too long. And honestly, I didn't care. I'll do it when I get back. That was my attitude, right? You know, my attitude was do it later all the time anyway. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. That's what got me in the mess. So we go to the church thing, right? And then he drives me home. Now, on the way home, I have this realization. Holy mackerel, what am I going to do? I got three little kids in the car, and they're all sleeping. Of course they're all sleeping. I didn't think of that. By the time we got home, it was later on. Do you think any gentleman in the world is going to allow a woman to walk in and out and in and out and in and out of her house while he sits in the driver's seat? No, you know he's going to insist on helping. I tried. I said, I said, when we get there, just let me bring the kids in and out. I'm fine. You could just stay there. He's like, no, I'm not going to do that. you got to even carry one of them in a car seat. I'm not going to do that. I'll take the car seat. We can wake up Katie, and then I'll come back out for Georgie because Katie was four. And I was like, no. Now back then you didn't have a car have to have a car seat for a two year old, so I don't even think he had a car seat. I think he was just in a seatbelt. Like one of those little booster things or something. She my sister was my sister's um like this matters, right? But it was my sister's husband and she had little kids the same age as mine, so you know, it just worked out great as far as that two year old was concerned. So here it goes, all right? So uh I have to suck it up and I have to just say, okay, well, how could I stop him? How could I? I couldn't. So I know I'm going to be completely humiliated. I know it. And there was not a word spoken, not a word. I opened the door. I walked in, holding one of them, laid her down on the bed, laid him down on the bed. He walked in with the car seat, said nothing. Then back out again for the next one, said nothing. And then it was just, all right, take it easy, cat. Bye, Nick, thanks. I, I was, I just like fell down on the floor, basically. I just like on my butt, not on my face, or not like on my back, or anything. I like, felt like I fainted. I just like collapsed on the floor, and I sat there, and all of that stuff, and it was... It was just humiliating. It really was. It was, um, it was terrible. And so that, that's my biggest moment. Of, I've had some other moments that were like, oh, no, that was embarrassing. But, you know, nothing like that. Nothing like that. That was, that was bad. He never mentioned it after that ever. We've never spoken about it again. He didn't talk to him. And, you know, as far as I know, nobody else knew about it. I didn't hear about it from anybody. I never mentioned it to anybody. But, boy, was it a moment for me. And I knew that I needed help. I knew that I, I was, I tried, I tried to get it together. My entire youth, I tried to get together. My, my bedroom was a disaster, a mess. I could never do any projects on time. Like with school, forget about it. Like all my friends would be like, oh yeah, I have my little cards and I, I have all my work done and I'm going to be getting my next assignment done. I have all the books from the library. By the time I got to the library, I had to do like really, really sucky topics like like learn how to cook carrots or something, like something really dumb because all the encyclopedias, all the good books, they were all picked over. You know, it's a little town, have one library. There was no internet, as you all know. I am almost 60, by the way. So... You know, it was just terrible my whole entire life. So that I just wanted to share that story with you because I feel like, you know, it would resonate. And 
it's really good to know that you don't have to always be in a certain place and that people have been there and done that and that there really is light at the end of the tunnel. You really, really can change everything. You really can. So um, I'm going to look at any, any comments here and see what, if anybody has anything to say. Um, Trish says, I always underestimate how long it takes to do anything. Yep. And you know, one of the other things too is it's just our nature to be able to, like, we have filters. We can easily not see things. We can easily not notice things. We can easily step over something and it be not something that, um, that bothers us. Whereas if it was somebody else, if it was somebody like one of my, like say one of my sisters, my, say my sister Maria, my sister-in-law Anne Marie, my sister, not Anne Marie, sorry, not that Anne Marie isn't anything, but I don't spend a heck of a lot of time with her in her home or anything. So I'm just talking about, because she's really neat. Um, my sister-in-law, my sister-in-law, Dorothy. Like when I used to go over to Dorothy's years ago, like she, she went, was with my brother when my daughter was about three and she had a three-year-old too. So when we would get together, it, we would do that quite often because we had the kids that were about the same age. They're actually still good friends today. We, she, she was like, a, she had like a holster with Windex in it. Like, honestly, like it was like, you put something down, then you did so much, like it was crazy. Like, holy crap, if you had a gun and you were like that, you'd probably be like um, Annie Oakley or something. Like, holy smokes, what you do with that wind, that's crazy. Now, we don't ever want to be that crazy, but the, my whole point is that there's no way in God's green earth that she would ever settle for something being left out. No, it's just not acceptable. See, there's some things that we could do that's like a standard. You know, what is your standard? And that, I have a coffee talk on this. You know, we have to have a standard. And we can change our standards. Like right now, maybe your standard is you don't care. Like mine was back then. It was like, well, what's the difference? When I come home, I'll take care of it. That was my standard. Now, if I was my sister-in-law Dorothy or my sister-in-law Lori or my sister Maria, it would have been like, there's no way in God's green earth is this going to be left this way? But why is that? Because there was a standard set. This is the way we live. And that's the way we don't live. I don't live that way. And that comes with some time. It also comes with some aha moments. And in, you know, in TTU and in the group, you get those, you know? So I'm going to look and see if there's anything else and ask you guys how you're doing. Because, you know, we're going to meet again at four if you want to show up. Um, we'll be again at four and then I think I have it at seven. Um, if I don't have my phone with me because of the craziness of coming in and out. So I left my phone out there, but, um, and then I'd be able to see what the times are. If somebody knows you could, you could text it in there and I'll, I'll see it. And then we'll talk about something else next. But it, with each call, I'm going to offer you to register in tidy to the university. And I think maybe next time I'll, because listen, this is why you want it to be done once and for all. You want to, you want to stop the roller coaster. You want to have time for yourself. You want to have the holidays come off without a hitch. You want to have somebody come in and not be embarrassed. You want to be able to make your dreams come true, which is almost impossible when you're living in a big mess. And it's amazing how many things just snap into place when you get it together and also when you use the system that you will be using when you sign up. Now, um, let's see, I mean, there's a bunch of people on here that are members of TTU, so of course I'm not talking to you. Um, you also get four months free of Insiders when you join. And you know, Insiders is only $29 a month. And so I could say that's um, 100 and what is it, three times four, 12, 120. You could say um, that's a hundred and twenty dollar value. It's really not. It's a it's a much bigger value for that. It might be a hundred and twenty dollars in price, but the value is so much more than that to be part of the insiders. So you get four months of insiders without having to pay, and you have tidy to the university for a lifetime. So you can go at your own pace. There's four sessions in that course. If I, I could do that maybe at seven o'clock, I'll open it up and I'll show you what it's all like on the inside of there. You know, 
I, I used to struggle a lot with my tech, with Terry Tudor, right? And there were so many things that I couldn't do and I wanted to do and I wanted to share and I wanted to be able to offer TTU. I wanted to be able to do special classes like we did that clutter magnet um, uh, challenge that we did. But I was having so much trouble with technology that I almost felt like I, I almost felt like I, I was giving up. Like actually in January, I was going to give up. It was New Year's Eve and I had crashed my other website and I did it. It was it was something I did and I lost all everything that was in there. And I was I, you know, I was like beside myself and I said, you know what? This is hard enough. This whole thing, this whole business thing is hard enough. Now I did that and I can't and, and I can't get it together with the tech anyway. I was I was about to quit and I just found out about somebody. But this is my point to this. My point to this is, I didn't just find out about her. I knew about her for a long, long time. I was on her email list and I got emails from her. And when I, I was on a Facebook group that I'm in for like, you know, women in business, right? And I'm on there. And somebody asked a question about something with a website. And somebody answered that question. And then somebody else said, go to nohasslewebsite.com and, and find out there. And then now I'm in the, I'm at a position, this was before this crash thing happened. I'm in a position where I need a new website. My website at that time, it looked like it was for a 12 year old. It was like, it looked like a 12 year old built it. It was really bad. And I was like, well, I have so much other tech to deal with. It's just going to have to be what it is. But I knew I had to change it. So I saw that on there and I thought, well, maybe she could help me. And so I ask questions and stuff. And then I find out that, you know, she has some great stuff. Now, I had already been on her email list. I found her some other time, some other place and some other time. So what I did was I purchased her little package that she had so that I could build a new website and transfer everything over there. And now, fast forward, they're just still there. I asked my daughter to do it. My daughter, Emily, I said, if I pay you, will you do what has to be done with this? Because she gives like a step-by-step. -step. If anybody wants a website, just tell me this is the way to go. This one is amazing. So she said she would do it. So Emily was building it for me. And now, fast forward, my membership site crashes. Now, the membership site was where all the classes are, all my courses are, the... Um, well, everybody's, everybody that has joined is in there. All of the information that I need to communicate with them, everything was in there. It's like, it's it literally, it's like your store burning down. That's what it's like. I guess you can't say literally. Figuratively, it's like your store burning down is what happened, right? So I reached out to her. I do have a point. I reached out to her and I said, in, in a private message, and I said, Netta, I really did something bad. I'm in big trouble. I don't know what to do. Do you think you could help me out? Can you tell me what to do? I don't, I'm ready to quit. And she said, she texts back and she said, don't quit. She said, did you know that I have a membership? Did you know that? You can, you can transfer everything over to the membership. Because I couldn't stay in that other thing that I crashed because it was so complicated and so hard to work that I would have, I, I, if I had to keep working with that, I was done. I couldn't do it anymore. It was so hard. I swear. One day, George walked in the bedroom. That's George is my ex-husband. So he walked in. The, I say he's my ex-husband because I'm, I'm, we're together, but we're not. It's weird. So anyway, I was I was in the bedroom with the laptop on my lap, crying like a freaking baby, like tears, sobs. I was done. I could. I was trying to make something work. I wanted to offer Tidy to the university. I couldn't get the button to work. I couldn't get it to work so that I could have people to, to enroll. And I'm sitting there and I'm saying, how can I keep doing this if I can't offer this to anybody, if I can't get it done? And, you know, it's been a long time, so I was frustrated. So he opens the door and he, opens, and he walks in and he goes, and he sees me there crying over my laptop in the bed. And he goes, are you okay? I went, just go, I'm okay just go. So he leaves. All right. So that was my position. That was my situation. Okay. So I contact her and I ask her this, right? And she says, just don't quit. I have a membership thing. You don't have to stay in that other platform. You can do this, right? So 
And my point to all of this is that woman was in my inbox for years. For years she was in my inbox. I could have been out of this pain. I could have had everything fixed. I could have gotten the help that I needed freaking years ago. And when I saw that, because, you know, I had to search for her in my inbox. And as I searched for her in my inbox, you know, all of your emails come up and I'm scrolling. I'm being, holy mackerel, she's been sending me emails for years. We tend to think that, oh, it's not as good as they think it is. Oh, it's garbage. Oh, it, it's, it's just another thing. It's just another thing. Yeah, there's somebody else that does that too. It's just another thing. So we disregard things when in the meantime, the answer to your prayer is sitting right in front of your face. And what do we do? We shoo it aside. What, how wonderful it would have been for me to grab that when I needed it. So that's the reason I'm sharing this with you is because if you've been in my world for a long time and you're saying to yourself, you know, I know she has this course and I know that it could help me, but I'm going to wait or I don't think it's really that great or everything is out there. And, you know, I tried this and I tried that and I tried this. This isn't going to work either. The answer to what you need is right in front of you. You know, I think women, women shop with other women because they like to be either talked into or talked out of what they're going to get. And so that's kind of like what I'm doing with you right now. Um, talking you into it. It's, it's if you are in a mess and you have a lot of dreams and a lot of things that you want to get going on in your life and you know that the mess is holding you back because you know it is then I'm going to be your girlfriend and say, just do it. You are, you are worth the investment. You are worth it. And also, you know, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So there really is nothing to lose. I just had somebody register, um, Harriet, actually, she just registered. We got on the phone together because she said, I just can't get another program. I just can't, you know, I, I know that I need, need the help. I just, I just can't. Can, can you look in my house? Like she was so, um, so concerned that she was too far gone. Could you look? Can we do a FaceTime? Will you look at my house? I need to. I need to hear this from you. And I understand that. I understand how many pro programs people have been through. Everybody on here could say it. it. This is different. And I don't think everybody says that. I don't think everybody says this is different because they can't back it up. I can back it up. I can back it up. So. There's that. I hope this was enjoyable, an enjoyable moment. Um, I don't know what we'll talk about next time, but if anybody has any questions, I can answer them next time. Okay, so let's see. Allison said, hi, Kathy. I'm glad to be here. I, I, I remember that. Yeah, Georgia said, Georgia wasn't well, and she wasn't able to jump in for the clutter ma magnet challenge, and um, now you can, good. Okay, let's see. Anything else? All right, it causes me always to run late. Of course it does. Yeah, that'll stop too. That'll completely stop. I've got to get organized. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm joining TTU. Thanks, Kathy. I love you. Good. Thank you. You will be so freaking happy. You really will. You'll be so happy. You don't only get the... The, the course, you get the instructor with the course. How long do you think that could last? And how wonderful is that? It's very rare. Um, thank you for this, Kathy. I often feel left behind and frustrated with technology. I'm 61, very old school. Everything is the $27 course one time or monthly. The, the $27 course, that's not the, that's not TTU, you know, that's the clutter magnet. Um, thing that's lifetime you have the clutter magnet what we did in the clutter magnet thing I have put it all together in a format that you have it in a course like in a way that you take it like a course not like it's all over the place on the Facebook group um, TTU is the tidytutor.com slash TTU and you'll see I have it's a page that I have all information on there all about it and you could find out about it there. We can even, I can even talk about it next time. Maybe I'll open up that 
and um, give you more details about what it'll do for you and what it has. Um, Noda said, Georgia Reeves, great. Yeah, yeah. Noda is the winner. Here, I'll put it in here. Um, the tidytutor.com slash TTU. Hopefully that'll make it open up. Um, that I just put it in comments. Yep, there it is. I have to change that image because it makes it look like it's about cooking. I'll have to change that image to something else. Um, you know, the one that pops up. Okay, so let's see. Any comments in the Zoom? Gumizi Guam? Let's see. Anything? Three? All right, let's see. Deborah said, I still have to finish my challenge work because I got sidetracked. I switched my attention to revamping my entire booth at the antique mall. It looks beautiful, but now I still have to finish the front porch. Just go back to it. There you go. Just go back to it. That's the beauty of the things. It's going to be up um, for up as it is now until March 1st. After March 1st, it comes down, and then you can get it for $27. I'd say get it for $27 anyway, because then you could have it to listen to anytime you want to. It's a, it's, um, it's a ridiculous bargain. Um, okay. All right. So I'll sign out now. Any questions that you have, you know, put them in here. I'll check later and I'll see you again at four o'clock. Okay. Four o'clock Eastern standard time. All right.